now we are going to talk about body tissues. So tissues, they are a group of cells that are similar in structure and perform a common or related function. So there are four primary tissue types na kumbaga. They are interweaving no, to form the fabric of your body. So, para, sila yung parang thread sa tela. So, same lang yun. There are four primary tissue types that interweaves to form the fabric of your body. And those basic tissues are what we call the epithelial, the connective, your nervous, and muscle tissue. So, ano bang so, may pulos ani nila? So, your epithelium is for covering your connective tissue is for support, your muscle tissues are for movement, and your nervous tissue is for control. So first is we have your epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue or epithelium. So it's the lining, covering, and the glandular tissues of the body. So when you say glandular epithelium, they form your various glands in your body. And for covering naman and lining, no, they cover all your free body surfaces and contains versatile cells. So, epithelial function would include protection, absorption, filtration, and secretion. So, there are special character. There is a special characteristics of um, epithelium. So, except for your glandular epithelium, um. Le um, neighboring cells are bound together at many points by specialized cell junctions including what we call the desmosomes and your tight junctions. So the membranes always, also always have one free unattached surface or edge. So itong mga tinatawag nating unattached surface edge or ito yung tinatawag nating apical surface. So, this is exposed to the body's exterior or to the cavity of an internal organ. So, that, yan yung apical surface. Yun yung exposed, it's either sa body's exterior or sa cavity ng isang internal organ. So, yun yung apical surface. Yung, there's what also what we call as a lower surface. No? Um, your lower surface, they rest on a basement membrane. And it's a structureless material secreted by both the epithelial cells and the connective tissues cells. So, next is um, epithelial cells. They have no blood supply on their own. That's why they are called avascular. No? So, nagdedepende lang sila sa diffusion ng mga capillaries in the underlying connective tissue for food and oxygen. If well-nourished naman yung epithelial cells, they regenerate themselves easily. So, that's the special characteristics of your epithelium. Hold on. Yan. So, ito o, oh, my picture. Never mind mo na these details sa left. So, diba, yung expose sa it's either external surface or sa in or pag na, ang unit tissue is nakaharap doon sa internal organ yung nakaharap doon that's your apical surface while your basal surface or your base basement membrane yan yung ano yung lower yung lower surface ng epithelium so those are the special characteristics of your epithelial tissue they have desmosomes and tight junctions they always have one free unattached surface. That's what we call the apical surface. And they have a lower surface. That's what we call your basement membrane. And they have no blood tissue supply on their own. That's why they are called avascular. And if they are well nourished, they, regener they regenerate themselves. Regenerate, sorry. They regenerate themselves easily. So, we classify epithelium. Um... So, we put the first name, that's, that is the number of cell layers that is present. For instance, the, your simple epithelium, it just consists of a single cell layer. Oh, isang layer lang siya. That's why it's called simple epithelium. While your stratified epithelium, they're composed of two or more cell layers stacked on top of each other. Ayan, so nagpatong-patong. They are stratified 
composed of two or more cell layers. So, ayan, yung first name, they describe the number of cell layer present. Well, your your second name naman is, um, they describe the shape of its cell. So, when you say squamous, they are flattened like fish scales. No? Flat sila. And like fish scales. Well, cuboidal cells, they are cube-shaped like dice. Yung parang dice, of course. Parang cubes. Your columnar cells naman, that's self-explanatory. Shaped like columns. Like columns. You know, like yung column ng... Yung column. So, that's why they call it columnar cells, cuboidal cells, squamous cells. So, again, if it is based on... If it's... Be, the first name is we classify it through the number of cell layers present that your simple pag isang layer lang stratified pag composed of two or more cell layers stacked on top of each other while second name is based on the shape of its cells we have your squamous they are flattened like fish scales cuboidal cells cube shaped like dice and columnar cells shaped like column so we have your simple epithelia. So, yung, as we saw kanina, diba, ito yung actual na makikita mo under the microscope sa histology. So, it's a single layer of thin squamous cells resting on a basement membrane. Also forms your serous membranes. These are sleek membranes that line the ventral body cavity and cover the organs in that cavity. So, Tingnan yan guys, ang function niya. Ang function niya is for diffusion and filtration, secretion in... I'm sorry. <laughs> That's your other professor calling. <laughs> I, I cannot repeat this recording again, guys. <laughs> Just say hi to Jess. Anyway. <laughs> ano ba yan? So, where were we? Simple epithelia. <laughs> oh my Girl, hindi ko ma-pause itong recording. Ano, bahala mo na siya dyan. So, your simple epithelia. So, your... Di ba, ang function ng simple epithelia is for diffusion and filtration. That's why they are made to be isang layer lang. Kasi para easier yung pagpas ng mga nutrients and gases. Di ba, kasi pag ang daming... Pag, Siyempre, pag madami siyang layer, di ba, mas mahirap. So... Ang function ng simple epithelia is for diffusion and filtration. For, for instance, this one in the pictures, that's the air sac of your lung tissue. So, that is where oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged. So, it's easier if it's a simple epithelia. So, it's just a single layer of thin squamous cells. So, yan, di ba? So, ano to? This is your, ay, sorry, sorry. Next, first pala, this is your sing, simple squamous epithelium. Yan, so manipis lang siya. Next is your simple cuboidal epithelium. So, ayan, cuboidal na, parang cube-like, pero isang layer lang pa rin. Simple cuboidal epithelium. Itong simple squamous, ba? One layer of flattened flatten like cells. Yan, o. Oh, flatten like cells. For itong simple cuboidal, one layer, simple, of cuboidal, parang cubes na mga cells. Simple cuboidal epithelium. So, ito pa rin, when you describe it, it's a single layer of cuboidal cells while grassing on a basement membrane. So, the function of simple cuboidal epithelium it's for secreta, secretion and absorption. So, diba? They ha, they ha, sometimes, they are ciliated. No? They propel mucus or reproductive cells. That's why, hindi na siya cuboidal na siya, diba? Kasi yung function niya, no? They are, they, ginagamit na siya for secretion and absorption. So, commonly, we see this in the glands and their ducts. So, sample, your salivary gland and pancreas kidney tubules and ovaries so next is your simple one layer pero columnar epithelium simple columnar epithelium one layer of cool, oh, column sorry column like cells 
So this is a single layer of tall cells that fit closely together. Usually talaga makikita mo under the microscope kita mo. They re they really are fitted closely together. And um simple columnar epithelium. Kita nito sa picture. They usually have in your digestive tract there um there is a mucus secreting cells. That's what we call the goblet cells. Diba? Goblet cells muc or mucous membranes. No? Actually, this one, you will later know the function of this. So, those mucous membranes. Um, I know, this is just the goblet cells. But there are also mucous membranes. These are epithelial membranes that line the body cavities. Open to the body exterior. They, al they are also... They are also simple columnar epithelium. So their function paren is to secrete and absorb and there are and some of them are ciliated. So they line most of your digestive tracts, stomach to rectum. Kasi your, your digestive tract was made to produce many enzymes, you know, enzymes and other chemicals that are that should be there para to di para i digest yung food no mag mag um absorb ng mga nutrients mag secrete ng other stuff so that's why diba parang simple columnar so next is your stratified squamous epithelium so stratified meaning layered na siya hindi na siya simple which is na lang so stratified pero squamous so flattened pa rin flattened siya so stratified squamous epithelium. So um, most common, the the most common your stratified epithelium cells at the free edge are squamous, whereas um, oh, wait 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 okay I'm just emailing something okay. So, your stratified, again, sorry, your stratified epithelium, your stratified squamous, layers na siya. And squamous is um, flattened pa rin siya. So, stratified squamous epithelium. We usually see this at your esophagus, your mouth, and your outer portion of your skin. The outer portion of the skin. Ayan o, oh, ito na yung, ito yung outside. So, Ito yun na yung environment. So, ayan. Ito yung skin mo. So, outer portion of the skin. That's your stratified epithelium. So, ayan. So, cells at the free edge are squamous. While those that are close to the basement membrane are cuboidal or columnar. So, they they they're, they are good, no? For protection. So, those are sites that receive a good deal of abuse or friction because they are stratified they are layered by layer by layer so next is your stratified epith your stratified columnar and your stratified cuboidal ayan so there are multiple layers not simple which is simple is one lang your columnar 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 like a cuboidal is cube like ayan both are fairly rare in the body so their function parin is for protection because you know multiple layers la. And then we can see this at the docks of large glands. We also have um we also have what we call as a pseudo stratified columnar epithelium. Kasi kung titing nan mo siya, pseudo means false. No, false. It gives um it gives a false impression na it is stratified. Akala mo na di ba na fake news ka pseudo stratified columnar akala mo cuboidal siya tingnan kasi tingnan nyo yung yung nucleus niya di ba nasa they appear at different heights so kung titingnan mo siya sa microscope aka, akala mo ano siya stratified kasi the the nucleus are different levels when in fact this is just a one isang layer lang to lahat no that's why it's called pseudo stratified columnar epithelium we can see this um if non ciliated ito yung tinatawag nating cilia if non ciliated nakikita natin to sa male sperm carrying ducts and ducts of large glands 
Well, itong ciliated naman, ito. Makikita natin to sa ating trachea and most of the upper respiratory tract. We also have we call a transitional epithelia. So, these are highly modified stratified squamous epithelium. So, ito sila, it's, it's transitional because they can be stretched. They, they stretch us readily. So, nakikita natin to sa urinary bladder. Para pag, pag, nagsustore sila, pag nagsustore ng ihi si urinary bladder, no na didi na tawag niyan ma-accommodate niya yung urine so nag-expand siya so it permits stored urine to distend the urinary organ that's what that is what your transitional epithelia is for next is your glandular epithelium so a gland consists of one or more cells that make and secrete a particular product this product called a secretion typically contains protein molecule in an aqueous water-based fluid. So, meron din tayong tinatawag na glandular epithelium na ang purpose niya is to secrete. You can see this sa yung endocrine glands. So, your endocrine glands, no? Eventually, the endocrine glands, they lose their ducts and they're often called ductless glands. Their secretions, they diffuse directly into the blood vessels that weave through the glands. Your exocrine gland, they retain their duct and they excrete through the ducts to the epithelial system, to the epithelial surface. Ayan. So next is we have your connective tissue. So your connective tissue it connects your body parts no, for support and is found any, everywhere in your body. This is the most abundant and it's widely distributed of the tissue types. The most common characteristics of your connective tissue is first, it is a vascular um, I sorry, sorry, most wait, mo, your, this is connective tissue so connective tissue most are well vascularized, but there are exceptions. So, tendons and ligaments have a poor blood supply, and your cartilages, they are avascular. So, ito, yung mga avascular, kasi wala silang own blood supply. Ito, tendons, ligaments, and cartilages, since they are avascular, pag na-injure sila, diba ang tagal nilang nahihil? Because they are avascular. So, for the extracellular matrix, no, all other primary tissues are composed mainly of cells, but your connective tissues, they are largely made of non-living extracellular matrix, which separates often widely li the living cells of tissue. So, bakit, bakit may ECM, my extracellular matrix, ang connective tissue? Because connective tissue is for support. So, itong matrix na tinatawag nito, ito, because of this, the connective tissue can bear weight, no? They can bear weight, they can withstand great tension, they can endure anything, your physical, uh, they can endure physical trauma, mga, no, pag ma, pag mabunog ka, mga sa bakadya. So, they can tolerate those things because, they are mainly composed of extracellular matrix. That's why they can fulfill their job, with, which is for support. So that's your connective tissue. So there are ta there are uh, we have many connective tissue. That's your bone cartilages, dense connective tissue, loose connective tissue, and blood. So your bone, they, it is also called your osseous tissue. This is composed of osteocytes, bone cells, CT and cavities called lacunae, your pits, and surrounded by layers of a very hard matrix that contains calcium salts in addition to large numbers of um, collagen fibers. Ayan. So, syempre, since bone siya, because para siyang bato, they have the exceptional ability to protect and support other body organs, like yung skull mo, di ba? protect niya yung brain mo. 
no? They have a very hard matrix na merong calcium salts, no? In addition to your collagen fiber. So, ayan, just don't forget, it's compo- composed of osteocytes or bone cells and um, there is what we call lacunae or pits. Ayan. Next is your cartilages. So your cartilages, your cartilages, actually itong picture na ito, if I am not mistaken, this is, this is a rib. So, your cartilages, they are less hard and more flexible than bone. So, yung major cell type na, ang tinatawag natin yan is chondrocytes or your cartilage cells. And the most widespread of them is your hyaline cartilage. It has abundant collagen fibers hidden by a rubbery matrix with a glassy blue-white appearance. So, yan, your hyaline cartilage, they form the supporting structure of your larynx or your voice box. And they attaches the ribs to your breast when you start sa edges ng ribs mo. No, merong hyaline cartilage doon. Na nagpo-form ng joints. So next is your fibrocartilage. They are highly compressible and forms the cushion like this between the vertebrae of your spinal column. So itong nasa picture, this is an inter- inver- invertebral disc. No? So, this is your fibrocartilage. Your elastic, your elastic cartilage naman, you found in structures with elasticity. Like your, yung nasa external ear mo. Diba? Elastic cartilage yan. Yan. So, ma-appreciate nyo yung chondrocyte. Diba? Sa mga cartilage. Yan yung major cell type. Yan. Chondrocytes. 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 Next is your... Oh my, ang mama ko na naman, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hindi ko na mauulit ito. I have no time for it. I'm so sorry. Anyways, your dense connective tissue. They are also called your dense fibrous tissue. Um, collagen fibers... Collagen... <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry. So... Dense connective tissue. This is also called your dense fibrous tissue. So, collagen fibers, yun yung main matrix element. Kita niyo yan, oh. Puro yan collagen. Diba? Puro yan collagen. To. So, um, there are, crowded between those collagen fibers are rows of fibroblast. So, ayan. Diba? Makita niyo yung nuclei ng fibroblast. Ito yung nagpo-form ng fibers. So, these are your fiber-forming cells. They manufacture the building blocks of the fibers. So, we have your tendons. So, don't forget. Now, your tendons, they attach your skeletal muscles to bones. Diba kasi, kahit ako sometimes ako confuse ko. Tendons is skeletal muscles, skeletal muscles to bones. While your ligaments, it connects bones Two bones of joints, so they are more stretchy and contains more elastic fibers than tendons. Next is your loose connective tissue. Your areolar tissue. Your areolar tissue is the most widely distributed connective tissue variety in the body. So it's soft, pliable, and cobwebby tissue. So, it cushions and protects the body organs that it wraps and it functions as a universal packing tissue and connective tissue glue that helps hold the internal organs together and in the proper position. So, next is your adipose tissue. So, your adipose tissue, no, it's basically commonly, it's basically fat. It's commonly called fat. So, um, and there's an areolar tissue, uh, an areolar tissue in which adipose or fat cells predominate. So, other term of that would be your signet ring cells, and they form the subcutaneous tissue beneath your skin. So, and also protect some organs individually, like your kidneys and eyeballs in sockets. 
So there we also have fat deposits in the body, in your hips and breast. So na um they are deposit there, no. Para readily available lang sila if your body needs it. So, your reticular connective tissue, they consist of a delicate network of interwoven reticular fibers associated with reticular cells. They are limited to certain sites. Um, it forms a trauma or internal framework which can support many blood cells in lymphoid organs like your lymph nodes, spleen, and bone marrow. And as picture spleen kasi yan. Your blood. So, your blood is also known as your vascular tissue. So, it's considered a connective tissue because it consists of blood cells surrounded by non-living fluid matrix called your blood plasma. So, don't forget about this because this will be your life as a medtech, the blood. So, your blood is used to transport vehicle used as a transport vehicle for the cardiovascular system getting nutrients waste respiratory gases and many other substances throughout the body <clears throat> so actually there are fibers in the blood no that's um they are soluble protein molecules na they become visible during blood clotting and don't worry um you will learn all of that. Masasawa kayo niyan sa hematology. Next is your muscle tissue. <clears throat> muscle tissues are highly specialized to contract or shorten to produce movement. So, the, there are three types of muscle tissues. You have your skeletal muscle, your cardiac muscle, and your smooth muscle. Your skeletal muscle, they are often called your muscle fibers. They are packaged by connective tissue sheets into organs called skeletal muscles so uh, they are attached to the skeleton so they can be voluntarily no I, yeah they are voluntary skeletal muscles are voluntary so they they form the flesh of the body the so-called muscular system so the cells are long cylindrical multinucleate and they have obvious striations Ayan. So, your cardiac muscles, malaman mo siya na cardiac muscles siya because of the intercalated disc. They are only found in the heart and they, ha- they may restrictions pa rin, but they're uninucleate. So, your skeletal muscles, they are multinucleate. Ba? And they, they have obvious restriction. Your cardiac muscles, meron kasi itong intercalated disc, no? And they're uninucleate. Isa lang nucleus. They're re- relatively short, branching, and they contain gap junctions that allow, ay, itong intercalated is, ito yung mga gap junctions, and this allows ions to pass freely from cell to cell. Your cardiac muscle, of course, is involuntarily, kasi nagpa-pump naman yan 24 hours, hindi mo naman pwedeng sabihing stop, diba? So, they, these are involuntarily. Your skeletal muscle is voluntarily, kasi pwede naman hindi galawin ng kamay mo. Your smooth muscle, your smooth muscle is also known as visceral muscle. So, you, you will know this is a smooth muscle because there is no striation available. And the cells, they are single nucleus and are spindle shaped. So, that's the buzzword. Spindle shaped, diba? Pointed at each end. So, found in your stomach, uterus, and blood vessels. Contracts much more slowly than the two other muscle type. So, ito, the smooth muscle, is, um, um, because of peristalsis, ito yung um, responsible kung bakit natutulak yung pagkain mo papunta sa small intestine. So, parang syang wave-like motion. So, and dahil ganyan ang purpose niya, so, they, uh, your smooth muscle, they contract much more slowly. Okay. Next is your nervous tissue. So just don't forget no your how to paano niyo ma-identify ano skeletal cardiac and smooth kasi medyo high yield to pati natanong to hanggang maghistology kayo. 
Okay. Next is your nervous tissue. So your neurons, they receive and conduct electrochemical impulses from one part of the body to another. So there are two major functional characteristics. That's uh, irritability and productivity. So um, there is a... Um, the cytoplasm of your nervous, they are long processes extension, as much as 3 feet or more in the leg. Allows a single neuron to conduct an impulse over long distance. So don't worry, we'll know more about all the neurons, neuroglia, which is your special group of supporting cells later on. So you're just a re um, just to uh, a good thing to know, no? Your neuron glia, they insulate, support, and protect the delicate neurons in the structures of the nervous system, the brain's spinal cord, and nerves. So, tissue repair. <clears throat> so, tissue repair is also known as wound healing. So, regeneration is the replacement of destroyed tissue by the same kind of cells. And fibrosis, no? Regeneration may nag-regenerate lang siya. Replace niya lang yung nasirang tissue. Pero yung fibrosis, no? Parang tinatapalan niya. Tinatapalan niya by forming a scar tissue. So, that's your fibrosis. Regeneration and fibrosis. And so, thank you very much and have a great day.